Well, hello, hello. This is see your comrade serious. And <coughs> welcome to the 12th part. This is part 12 of our Hussak challenge. And we have a past game because it's June. It's June 1962 and we have a problem. We have a only a really a little money. And part of the problem is that, you know, the hazardous material importing is only like 282 for now because it goes down over time so it's definitely not that big of that big of a help and we need we need to do something with it right we need to do something about our financial situation because there's few things we absolutely need to do we need to plan and build a technical university and to start doing things like that we also would probably need to build this thing relatively fast you know with those underground pipes and so on and we do not have money we can we need some some way of making them we should be having some prefabs if i remember yeah here are they so we can use them probably on building at least part of not the lift or farm but maybe yeah the slaughterhouse we have almost Everything for the slaughterhouse build. And yeah, we can probably can build this pipe afterwards. Because yeah, that's 21 tons of prefab. But in next year, it will be absolutely doable. So that should be alright. But we first need to be able to store some grain in this storage. And we need, we need steel. Now, right now, there is 27 tons of steel. And we need another 128. So we need... To make we need to get some steel from somewhere uh, there were two options we have one option of the money reform because that's what we can once per game come here but get ourselves alone you know 1400 exactly like this and we can just borrow them and leave it be we can do it you can say we can do it you can buy it but the problem is we would need to pay it in five years and i have abs i'm absolutely no, no no sure that we would be able to do so i have no idea how much money we are able to make and we have another option of using our dollars more because after all we have built this road to the west so let's go for it let's do some preparations because now time around time counts our fields are around 80 percent um 80 percent grown so let's do it first we need a road depot uh what what now we will need a refueling so a gas station well probably even right here is okay just have some driveway here and we will buy for a, for a dollar we will buy this full cistern i'll let it run because it needs to come I'll just set it so it loads fuel here. Deliver it to the pump. Wait until unloaded. Well, not wait until unloaded. And then go to the depot. We need to unassign it from the depot because otherwise we are not able to set it on set it on track. And now it's here. Now another small pause. We are having, we do have some pre-construction offices. So I will buy this one. I will t tell them to go steal here. To go buy steel, not to go to steal some. And here is the long haul. So we have red ones. Why not? One, two, three, four. We'll go full. They have auto search, but it doesn't matter. And... So let's do it like office nine, number nine, assign construction office. This will be the steel, steel guys. And we can assign them because they will, they will do it. I can assign them to our, I will send them right to the silo. That's why I did this. The reason behind this. That the, the, their first trip they will do is that they are able to take 30 tons each. So that's 120 tons. 120 tons of steel. 
that's a lot of money. But we are able to do it. Uh, the funny thing is, well, there's no steel right now. There's no fuel now. So they maybe even won't be able to refuel. But we made sure that all of the, all this road, you cannot see it, but it's one, it's one piece. What is important is that when people, when vehicles are driving, they do not, they, and when, and they need to refill, they will just go on their way. And when they, then when they hit the refueling thing, I said, oh, all right, where is the pump? Uh, in the near the next node on our road so they won't stop in the middle or at least they should not because the first node on this whole journey is here and they will look in vicinity of this node it's 2000 meters it's quite long two kilometers and they will look if there is any way well there is a way to refuel here so they will go here and then we'll go oh then they will drive all the way back then they will need to refuel, probably. I cannot assign this pump to tell me that it has it has a fuel. But hey, we will be able to spot it. Well, they loaded ten tons of ten thousands of worth of steel. It's thirty tons, so they are going. And that's what we need to wait. That's what we need to be waiting for, right? This also means. That I can pick people office. I think it should be number two. Yeah, they are currently working on nothing. Okay, that's great. So I can probably send them to work to start working on the silo, right? Because concrete is delivered here. It's ten times per trip, so they will have some. They will need some trips to finish it, but well, they they will do it sooner or later and our cavalry will take some time as well. Because yes, this road is definitely not the fastest one. I have no idea if they are if they will be able to make it and we are obviously losing dollars that we cannot earn back. So that's a problem. Well, we cannot earn them back right now. Oh, so, well, that's a bit of a that's a bit of an issue, but well, we need to start somewhere. What is this? This is a construction office with dumpers and yeah, they have a lot of work, but they, can, but they cannot work on it, on anything right. Now, we have the technical office, we have the technical university here. That's what we will be needing to build afterwards. But I need to focus our resources, especially those concrete mixers, right here, right now. This house is obviously locked out. There is a little bit of space in these buildings, but I would like to have probably one more. Even though I have no way of employing those people and we will not have, we will not have a way for it. And we will probably need to do something with Slaughterhouse, which reminds me we need some way to collect trash for these buildings. I completely forgot about it, so, well, maybe stand for the larger containers. The difference in cost is not that big, but we will definitely need it. And if I build it here, there is plenty of space around. And it will be useful for both of these because these, when cows are stored here, they produce manure and therefore fertilizer. We will need it. So let's do it. And I will probably need, or it would be useful to gravel these roads up. Do we have a, well, we, we have a lot of free gravel, right? Yeah, we have a lot of gravel. We don't need this plant right now. Okay. So let's start with this. So I'm just cutting I'm just cutting this off because we're not building it right now. Uh, 
That's one, and uh, should be. Oh, there should be a second. Oh. You just do it right away. We are not building this one because we still don't. We do not have gravel, so I don't care. Well, we do not have prefabs, so we are not able to launch it anyway. So, why bother? Uh, incidentally, we can probably then turn these two into gravel as well. I'm not sure. We do not have water right now, and cows are drinking like mad. So that's what we definitely need to do as well. And that's another thing we will need to pay for. Okay, so we'll do it. We will do it like this because then we will be, be then we will be able to connect it. What are we going to do? Missing resource steel. Yeah, I'm completely aware of it. That's that's a, that's a notification we can probably switch off right now, because there will not be any steel left for a long time. We will need a way to get water here. And what is our network right now? Our network is that we are creating water that we cannot obviously store anywhere. We have this water source plumbing and we have the big tower. From the big tower there are two exits that we are that we should be able to pressurize the city afterwards. But this massively increase the water consumption of the city. It can be up to five, seven times compared to what they are using right now so this is definitely something i'm not willing to do when we are when we are in this kind of financial situation and more important more importantly when we don't have a water a way to get our pre get our sewage out because currently it's like this we have these substations for water one, two, maybe three, maybe third one is somewhere here. Well, it at least should be. I don't know. I don't know where it is, if it is somewhere. And probably it's not because these two are covering everything. And this one will be the third. But we need to, we need to do something with, um, something in this area that will pressurize this industrial this industrial this industrial one so well let's give them a small water tower there's no need for a big one yes everything costs steel everything costs well everything costs everything almost i am not sure that i will need to split that i will need to split this afterwards probably probably not and if so we can deliver the water because I have no idea if there are any resources right here. From what I remember from the screenshot of the webs, there should be some coal in these mountains, but I have no idea where. So, and we can create, it would be probably cheaper to just create another well and treatment plant elsewhere. So this branch ends here and it's probably the final version or we can, but we can rebuild it. Anyway, what is the maximum consumption, by the way? Crops, livestock farm. 12. It's a 12 meters of water. And we have one livestock farm because we will definitely don't. And we won't have more. Because there's no space for it and more, more importantly, no resources for it. So, let's do it. Let's do it this way. This should be enough because the water will pressure it. And we we will need a way to get the water from the from this tower to this one. It could be enough to just have have it because these towers, the big ones, are higher than the small ones. So it should be enough to just transfer it by gravity. But I I'm not sure that it will work that way. So I'll just. I'll just go go on the safe I'll just go on the safe way and 
just will and will use this pump and we can use this one if needed to just split the water elsewhere if we will need it somewhere in the future what is the cost difference if we if we are building this it's 100 meters it will be better for reference 100 meters is 3.6 tons of steel medium one is ah oh, it is uh, significant so we probably don't we don't need a bigger one right away, right away in the worst case we can rebuild this one but i'm not sure we will need it and here i will definitely go with a small pipe three meters in depth is perfect for me in depth not in depth Oh, we'll just follow the road, probably. Yeah, let's go in the middle because that's the easiest one, easiest one to connect. What is our cavalry? How is it doing? Where are they, by the way? Here they come. Ah. Save in the day. Well, hopefully I don't know. <laughs> but they are halfway. Halfway through. So, and it took like one month. Around. And not that bad. They are, they are pretty fast. Now we are missing on steel. And there is a lot of concrete. And we have, we have now more than 2000. Did I switch everything off? Like even the fuel? No. You can be delivered, but I'm, and these ones can deliver as well. So, well, it's not, it's not that tricky. It's all right. So we are up and running a little bit. <coughs> what we are missing is the distributions of these two is probably not. Yeah, they cannot, they cannot export it. What, what? Who is exporting this? Yeah, this one, but they are also bringing in... Yeah. They are also bringing in... The hazardous waste. Which is a problem, because now it will not burn through these... Through our mixed waste from the city. Not ideal. Uh, not, not ideal. But there should be some vehicles related as well. Where are they? Show me. Ah, they are dumping in this free one. All right. Do I have a demolition office? Or not? I probably demolished the demolition office. Is it? Is it true? Oh, it was. Okay, so let's uh, l l l l let's change it. Let's do some. Where is demo? No, these ones are demolition offices. And yeah, I totally agree that it does. It should not be this. You probably should not need a specialized facility for it. But well, it it is what it is. So. Where are we going to put it? Somewhere in the city? Yeah, just maybe next. No, no <laughs> not here. Okay, probably to this place. I could use a waste truck. So I will change this one to go to go here and to go up to go unload unload here because yeah wait until unload it doesn't make sense and then i will send it to depot because that's what i will need and this one can probably go to this dump and unload there so it happens go this one is full so 
You don't need to go there. And I can probably assign it to all of these as well. And this is number 13. We don't need it. We already have there. So don't load. But just unload, unload, unload. And you should not go. Does it work even with trash? Because he'll go here. He'll unload. Now he has nothing. So he goes to load. Yeah, that's great. So I can assign all of these. And if, if I will mark them as unload, he'll do his job. He'll do his job. That's great. I really like it. And I missed where it is right now. Where is the vehicle? Uh, the same goes for these, this distribution office, because they, well, I'll assign these four to them, and they will be marked as for unloading. Obviously, hundred percent because because that's what they are, that's what they are, and it will be mixed ways. And I hope, well, I have I have a game paused. So I wasn't sure about it. Yes, because these are not pre-selected, so it will do problems if it would happen. It's really important to mark dumps for waste, because otherwise you end with things like these. You definitely not need it. The garbage truck is here, so it will go to demolition office. And I will say, well, let's just dump it here. Yeah, mixed waste, separate waste. That's great. And I will demolish these two. Dumps will cause pollution. Yeah, but construction waste can and will go to the city right now. And I will have <laughs> two free dumps afterwards. That should help. We are slowly gaining some money up. So that... That should help, yeah, people are coming here, but, well, it will do, but they are here, they are coming around the ridge, probably should be here by the end of the episode, which, which will be great, because then I will reassign them, reassign them a bit, and we will try to do something with them, for one, this one can be built with... Well, this one needs people, so okay. Let's, let's do so. I'm not sure, I haven't played this for a while. Yet, yeah, th these are only for... These are only people, so we'll wait. I have nothing else built, if I remember. Yeah, these one are waiting on concrete, so... Well, it will wait, because it will need to wait. But I think I can set them to slowly prepare these. These to be built. They will wait on steel, so we will need to deliver steel. Yep. And this one is finished as well. That's great. And we can reassign. We can reassign these to be built. Yes, the concrete now will hold and they'll, they will need for this. Heating plant is not producing. Well, that's not that big, not that big of a surprise. And you can see, yeah, they are completely empty, but they will unload first. And we have steel. We have a lot of steel. Yeah, they will definitely be able to refuel. The funny thing is that there will be eight tons of eight tons missing, which will take some time. And now they are coming back home. Hundred percent brain storage. 
Did I miscalculate it something? No, they are coming home. And this one will go for, yeah, for those 18%. Okay, so this, this truck, the second one and the third one as well. They are going to be assigned on a different route for now. Because they are going, well, at first they are going to be sent to this depot. So I can modify them. Now they will have, they will stop him, stop here. They will load full load of steel. And they will deliver it here. Unload. Wait until unloaded is probably not needed, but I'll just do it so I'm so I'm sure. Then they will go back, load steel again, again went wait until wait until loaded. Do the whole thing again. Here, yes. Well, not not this way, but this way. Wait until unloaded. And then I have no idea what I will do with them. I would like to send them to a depot and I have no idea if I have a depot. Probably not. So I will send them back home. So unassigned from, from the depot and they will go to this one. Yeah. And he's going. And you're not going home, you're going as well, switch off, and yeah, copy schedule to this track as well, you're not going to the depot as well. Yeah, so basically what this does is that they will load steel, bring it to Harlinden, do it twice and they then they will get home to be later, to be later optional to be sent on this road as well. We have finished research of hotels. So what are we going to do now? Because tourism might help us and we are we are able to do tourism. That will be great and I have no idea. It's in the red somewhere. Yeah, hotels. So now tourist visa only? That's great. So we can we can go full ham on tourism afterwards. So why not start with this? So we can at least build something instead of, you know, watching all over the place. City hotel. What I'm going for the city hotel will be the hotel of Ukraine, because it has a massive storage and it's a big building, anyway. So we will have a hotel right about here. I will not use the back, those back doors probably because there is no point in doing so. It will be placed right here. It's not that far from, well, this is not a station, this is a station. How, how far is it from the main, main one? 200 meters, well, 300 almost. But it means that everyone waiting here will be able to go to work there. Uh, tourists, I don't think tourists care for pollution. How how much will it cost? It's not it's not costing that much. That much. It's like with some boards, bricks, only 13 tons of steel. It's really great. But I still will build some probably small bus stop right next to the hotel. Because that's where we'll be. That's where we will be able to drop off those tourists, or maybe more importantly, use the bus stop for some other things. So maybe I will. How much will bus platforms are? And this one doesn't cost that much. It's 5.3 ton steel. This is 0.6 ton. Because I was thinking this this one is really good for you know for people to be waiting there but I will go for the cheapest version as obviously because we really need to be going 
as cheap as possible on this on this run because that's what Hussack Challenge is about. Probably I will just place the stop in front of in, in front of the hotel because there will be some there will be something of a square here. Yeah, this makes sense. So that's what we have. We and we run we run half an hour. So that's great. We still we're still we're still waiting for some concrete, and we are still waiting for some you know work days to be finished. But those eight point seven tons are not that hard to to get, and more importantly, they are they should be on on the way, on their way, almost. Yeah. And yes, you can see those trucks. It's not even a cheat <laughs> because they are running out of fuel, and they would do it. They would be able to go refuel even when there would be no no connect when they, when it would not be when there would when it when there would be notes because they are they are able to go on on full load so it's not even a cheat or some cheesing mechanics but it's great I really like this so we should be able to yeah there's some har harvesting I'm not able to. The bad thing is that I have no idea if we are able to, you know, just tie, tidy it up faster enough to just bring all those crops to the silo after it's built. I hope we do have time, do have enough time. Because, but you know, our medium farm is full. I'm not sure we are able to do so. Can I just build a distribution office? A small one. Cannot build more. Uh, because we're using them for yeah we are using them for the for the waste well that's what we need to solve next time we have our hotel ukraine and that's where we will start next time so have a nice day goodbye